There are reports that a monster lobster is working its way across inland United States. There are further reports that as many as 10 other monsters may be wreaking havoc throughout the Midwest. The full report is next on Action Tracks. Hey Monster Truck fans, welcome once again to Action Tracks. I'm your host, Chris Parrish. This weekend, we're in Lima, Ohio at the Spring Four Wheel Jamboree Nationals. We've got a lot of action for you this weekend. Let's get into the field of trucks. First up, all the way from Maine, it's the Monster Lobster. Greg Winchenbatch in the Crustacean. A longtime veteran, close to home, Dan Patrick in Samson. Then we've got Mr. Excitement, Jim Kohler in the Avenger. Dave Redzira's in the Star Marshal. Dave Rife making an appearance in the Chalkboard Chuck Truck. The defending champion, Mark Hall in the Raminator. Matt Dishman behind the wheel of the Ramunition. Michelle Simpson driving the world's only diesel monster truck, Air Dog. Bobby Holman in the Lucas Oil Stabilizer. Dan Runte in the E3 Spark Plug Bigfoot. And finally, Chris Bergeron in the General Tire Monster Truck. Getting straight into action, we've got a lot going on and a lot's been going on in Lima, Ohio. We had torrential downpours on Thursday night. Friday, the track crew worked all day long. We're running a drag style track this evening in Lima. The first pair is off chalkboard chuck versus Lucas Oil Stabilizer. As you can see, the track is still really muddy. Bobby Holman, a lot of steam in that truck, did nothing but spin handing the win to the chalkboard chuck. Matt Dishman looking strong so far in the ammunition takes, takes the measure of Avenger. It may only be the first round, but this race is going to be a war. Dan Patrick versus Mark Hall. close I don't know how the track officials are gonna tell that one let's take a look back to see if we can tell different approaches over that tabletop couldn't really tell from that angle they're giving the win to Dan Patrick and Samson the lobster versus general tire Chris Bergeron gonna take the measure of the lobster Dan Ronte in the E3 Spark Plugs Bigfoot versus Star Marshall, one of the new interactive trucks on the circuit. And Dan Ronte is going to send the Star Marshall back to outer space. Getting into round two action. Ramunition versus Chalkboard Chuck. See if Chuck can keep his streak alive after knocking off the Lucas Oil Stabilizer. No way, Matt Dishman. Not gonna let that happen here tonight in Lima. Dan Patrick, after a great first round win, taking on the general tire, he's gonna proceed on through the brackets. He'll be in the semifinals. Raminator versus Bigfoot. This is gonna be another huge battle. Looks like Raminator's got a little bit of a lead. Don't know who won that one. Take another look back. Both of them over the tabletop well. Raminator might have had a little more steam coming to that last set. And yes, the Raminator is going to take the victory. Moving on to the semifinals. Bigfoot back is the fast loser to take on the other Ram truck. Ram munition. Not going to lose twice here. Bigfoot taking a decisive victory there. Our other bracket. Raminator versus Samson. This is gonna be a war again. We saw it in the first round. Will Dan Patrick take it again? Another photo finish! Another look back on the action track backtrack. Oh, Mark Hall looks like he may have gotten over that tabletop the best. Slow-mo, still hard to tell. 
The win's gonna go to Raminator. We're looking at a Bigfoot versus Raminator final round, and they are staging up right now. This is for the title of the first event of the Lima weekend. Two big champions on the line. Dan Runte and the Bigfoot taking the victory from the defending champion, Mark Hall. What a final round. These drag races have really produced some excellent racing competition. We'll see an S-Track later in the weekend. You couldn't ask for any more excitement. Let's get on into freestyle. We've got a lot to cover. We're gonna take a look at some highlights from freestyle on Friday night. Greg Winchenbach brought the Monster Lobster out in Lima, Ohio. If you haven't seen this truck in person, it's truly a sight to see. Out of Maine, couldn't be a more fitting body design. The Monster Lobster scores a 20 on Friday night in Lima. A good run. The General Tire Truck with Chris Bergeron normally behind the wheel of the Brutus Truck. Sporting the General Tire Monster Truck as part of the General Tire Monster Truck Jamboree here. Chris is gonna come out and put on a great run, whipping it into a donut. Bergeron really attacked everything on the track in less than ideal conditions. The track was really still very muddy. You can see right there, water splashing off of the tires as he slid around. The entire backside of the outfield is just a swamp. Bergeron doing really well out here. The two big obstacles, a couple of van stacks out towards the front side of the track. So you'll see the drivers throughout the weekend really focusing on those obstacles. Bergeron carrying great momentum, hitting everything with big air, and he's over! Bergeron just flipped the general tire truck. I think he hooked a run, but it's gonna be good for a 25. That'll be good enough for the lead. One more truck to go. Dan Runtay in the big foot. We'll have to see if he can make it a clean sweep in Lima on Friday night. I know Runte was a little upset with some of the calls in some of the earlier rounds in racing, and so he was driving angry out there. And you can see what happens when Dan Runte is angry behind the wheel. He is on a mission. He flat abuses that Bigfoot truck. Great run out there for Dan Runte, hitting all of the obstacles, mixing it up pretty well, trying to pull some slap wheelies. That's about the best you're gonna get out here on, on this wet horse track in Lima. And Dan's really doing a great job with what he's got. Bigfoot scoring a 26. That's gonna be good enough to take the victory on Friday night. Dan Runte saluting the crowd, the clean sweep on Friday night. We'll be back in just a moment with Saturday action on Action Tracks.